Hello and welcome to the MacMost Daily Blog. I'm Gary. I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah. Ugh. And uh, <clears throat> so, um, well, why don't Macs have viruses? Because they take echinacea every day. Yes, they're very good. Homeopathic remedies, vitamin C, zinc, that's, the works. That's right. Next question. No, no, really. Why don't Macs have viruses? I mean, this is a question that has gotten asked. And to that us is here the question. Mac this is the question we're asking. There's several schools of thought on this. On this question, there's thoughts that people have had. Questions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an answer? I have several answers. Okay. Well, uh, you know, and they're all right. But okay. So one thing is, of course, it's a smaller target. You know, if you're going to write a virus, see, the thing is, viruses, they're they're, they're viral. Yeah. Right. So the thing is that they have to spread. You know, the idea is it infects one machine, and then it needs to go out and infect several more machines, and then keep going. So you need a certain critical mass of machines. And yeah. imagine a cold, right? But if there was only one person living in a town, who would get the cold next? No, yeah. nobody, but, right? And but, if it was a deadly cold, the cold would would have just then killed itself right, off. Right. So you wouldn't. Yeah. So you wouldn't go go out. So the thing is, there's a lot of Windows machines out there. So Windows machines get viruses, and they can easily find other Windows machines to spread it to. Macs can't find as many machines because there's only about five percent market share of Macs, ninety percent market share of Windows. There you go. Okay. That's one reason. That's a good reason. Other reasons are, of course, there's a difference in types of operating systems. So one is completely built. You know, Windows is built on a Windows operating system, which you know has frameworks and you know the the core Windows used to be Windows NT. I don't know what it's called now, but the core, and uh, and it's got a lot of flaws in it, apparently. Um, and I know viruses will write themselves to the root, and it's called rootkit. Mean, viruses will write themselves into the operating system. They're they writing really themselves into the, the, the roof of the ceiling. The root. 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 Um, now, Macs are, based, are basically based on BSD, which is a form of Linux. Uh, now, one of the interesting things about the, the core of both systems is that the Linux is, is basically open source, yeah. which means that you can actually go get BSD yourself, create your own BSD-based operating system, and use BSD for free, and modify it. And then you're supposed to any modifications you put back. So, so the interesting thing is you think, well, being open, uh, virus writers will be able to see more what was there and figure out how to make viruses. But it's actually the opposite. It's that people who are trying to protect machines against viruses can contribute to making it more secure. That's true. Whereas in Microsoft, their core uh, is only seen by people inside Microsoft, a very small group. Um, so it's harder for them to actually come up with ideas and things like that and maybe you know try different ways to attack it and then patch those up. Yeah. So that's another theory. It's basically the, the core of Mac, the BSD system, is more secure than the core of Windows. Right, what, and it's debatable, but it's out there. It's a possible reason. What do you have the three, there are three kinds of uh, ways viruses can infect mm -hmm. machines? There's um, the open application and it... Well, yeah, so window, well, another thing Windows has that makes it less secure is one of these ways is uh, basically in, in Internet Explorer, in the web browser, there's something called ActiveX. It's oh, basically yeah. embedding an application inside of a web page. And this application uh, can basically do anything right back the application has. So you can actually go to a web page that has an, a, a malicious ActiveX control, yeah. and it can infect your machine. You can't have ActiveX on a Mac. It's not, not available. So uh, on Mac, you've got uh, plugins like Flash and Shockwave and all. They exist inside sandboxes. Who They can't really communicate yeah. out. And, um, and on the PC side, it was it was with the best intentions. Yes, they, they did to that. make more power, more, yeah. more powerful, to make it more useful. So, so it's that, and, and you know, and then the the other thing is that you know the critical mass argument. Going back to that, you get lots of people that have. I mean, it's it's in order to get infected, you've got to do a lot of things poorly. You know, you've got to it, download. You're probably downloading stuff from the internet that you shouldn't, and yeah. running it, uh, ignoring warnings, that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, when you have a larger group of people, it's easier to find people that will do those things. When you have a smaller group of people, Mac users, it's harder to find people that will do these things. So, it's just not worth it for the virus writer. So, there's a, a bunch of different reasons. And you can also say, well, Apple's more proactive um, at, at stopping viruses. Yeah. I, I think right now the best thing a Windows person can do is upgrade to Windows XP. Well, yes. There was a funny article we were reading. Yeah. Uh, a review of Windows XP as an upgrade to Windows Vista. <laughs> Because that reports are that, and, and, and actually, I, saw, I read an interesting report about the difference between parallels and VMware, the two ways of running Windows on your machine, on your Mac, while 
in Mac OS, yeah. and they compared the two of them, and they both had the pluses and minuses, but interestingly enough, I, I was reading the part of Parallels, because that's what I have, they said Windows XP runs much faster in Parallels than Windows Vista. Really? So yeah, so there's that. So well, why do we, Max, uh, we'd like to hear your opinions, uh, why you think Macs really don't have any viruses to, that need to be worried about, and PCs do. Yeah. Anyway, have a good weekend and a happy holiday. Thank you.